It is March 25th, 2018. We're here in San Diego, California. We're going to go ahead and show our new magnetic retrieval tools for the sewer cameras. So what we have here is a one inch camera, um, the D2A from Rigid Sea Snake. And on the end of this, you can see we have a large magnet. Um, this particular one has no hole in the center. It's a solid magnet for maximum removal lifting power. Um, this goes over the head and our first videos that we made on this were just going with an aluminum shell going on some clay and ABS pipe. Now what we've created is this aluminum shell that holds the magnet. Uh, this one that's on the camera head right now is the one we're showing right here. It's 1.8 inches in outside diameter. So we have a two inch piece of cast iron here. We're gonna show it going down. So by creating a steel shell that goes over the aluminum that holds the magnet, we're able to actually to stop any of the diametric a uh, little bit of magnetic force you get from that sticking to the wall of the pipe. So now we're able to go down any type of metallic pipe and go retrieve the item but not stick to the pipe itself. So this is the one we have on the camera head right now. Uh, we have some smaller versions out here. This is a small three quarter inch magnet with a uh, half inch in length. Um, the outside diameter of the steel shell that comes together is 1.25 and then we have the same one here but this has a one inch long magnet, uh, three quarter in diameter, same as this magnet. Uh, so just to show you a real quick piece of how this will work is this steel shell is protecting it. There's no magnetic attraction to this. This is a 12 inch long piece of four inch cast iron. So this can ride down the pipe but when it comes to something magnetic, you can see that it's lifting and holding this entire piece and I'm bouncing it and it does not come off. So that's how strong these magnets are with their pull force, but with the steel shell we've created, no attraction from the side as it's traveling down the wall. So we're now gonna actually show that right here. We had some old cast iron at our shop here, so this is just a rudimentary put together, but this would be like going down a two inch vent and then we're going to go ahead and make a combo turn and then we've got actually some three inch cast iron and then on the ground right there you can see that little coil that's a quarter inch uh, cable we broke off um, probably about eight or ten feet or so so we're going to go ahead and show this other camera just traveling down the line so again this can go inside this two inch pipe pushing it down into the system until we get to the actual cable. We've now actually got the cable stuck on the magnet. So what we'll do is we'll now pull this through the system. So you can see that the cable is now being dragged into the system and out. So now we'll keep pulling out our camera and here you go here's our cable completely fully retrieved um, this is a small quarter inch magnet I'm sorry a quarter inch cable um, usually you can be put on probably something bigger it'll actually stick even a little bit better but this had no problem um, there will be a lot of debris you can see all cast iron is going to have a lot of shavings and gunk and it will stick to the camera uh, magnetic face I'm sorry when you're pulling back so sometimes when you first go down um, it may get covered in this you may have to pull it out a couple times but as you can see we're able to get that retrieved out of that system all the way through so now we can just pull the rest out by hand so that's that piece of cable we pulled out of there so uh, we have a couple other varieties we've created in all different shapes and sizes um, here's the one that has the hole through the center 
um, which we did on one of our first videos, and now we've created this magnetic sh or I'm sorry steel shell for it. We actually use this. That's why it's all kind of rusted up. We use this to retrieve a, a bit that another plumbing company lost inside a main sewer line. We were able to retrieve it. We went down a three-inch vent to into a four-inch, three-inch cast iron vent to a four-inch cast iron main. Um, the outside diameter of this one is two inches. Um, we've got a bunch of other ones that we've created. Uh, this is for the standard camera here. We have all different sizes. We don't have them all laid out here. Uh, additionally, what we've also created um, is if you want to ride the camera side by side and use another drain cable to retrieve, we've actually created these mock one inch camera head aluminum pieces here. So this can actually go inside one of the shells and this particular end would screw on to a Gorlitz cable. This particular end would go on to the new Milwaukee snakes. Um, could also fit probably the rigid ones as well. And then the last one here is general. Uh, we prefer general cables and we do have all of the new Milwaukee ones. So this could actually be put on your drain cable then use this um, to also retrieve the item and use the camera on the side because um, again a lot of our magnet designs are now solid um, not see-through like this one where you still get some picture when you're pushing down and we did that to keep the diameter of the OD as uh, small as possible which is why we have these really smaller ones but again extremely powerful to retrieve items keys cables cutting bits anything that's steel uh, magnetic um, down the line so um, that just shows that our new design these can go ahead and will not stick to the wall of the pipe in any way shape or form but will completely attach anything on the end if you're trying to retrieve something from a sewer system with metal pipes so that concludes this recording